Am I good? Sorry, guys. Uh, Chris and I were chatting about stuff and got a little sidetracked there at the entry. Back for more Dragon's Dogma 2. Guys, this game is way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I played the first one, enjoyed some aspects of it, didn't enjoy other aspects of it, did not enjoy the combat in the first game at all. Was going to play this game because I knew it was going to do good for the channel and it was going to be good for growth and everything else. And I knew that I would like like 75% of it. Now that I've played Dragon's Dogma 2, it's so much better than I anticipated. The combat is really freaking good. Um, if you didn't already watch it, uh, I did the big eight and a half hour stream this morning. Said I was going to directly go take a nap and not do any video co content creation. I lied. I totally did two videos. I did the video reacting to the rage of the microtransactions, which is a silly conversation, but it was fun to do. But most importantly, I did my first impressions video. And in that first impressions video, I inadvertently ran into a minotaur and a freaking dragon, a drake, here in town. So it was like it was a perfect first impressions of what Dragon's Dogma 2 is all about and, the in, you know, the, the importance of the combat and the fluidity and how full of shit people are when they're like, oh, my God, 30 frames, it's unplayable, <laughs> whatever. I'm on the PS5. It's freaking amazing. I've been having so much fun playing around. Um, and the combat has been really, really good, which was what I was nervous about from the first game. I was nervous that the combat in this game would not be very good because the combat in the first one I didn't care for it it was a little too janky the combat here has been really 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 good um, the only thing I've seen so far that makes me wonder is like I swear that these pants I'm wearing should have a graphic and ex and instead it's like I'm wearing like a g-string uh, if I didn't have my shirt on you'd see what I was talking about if you were watching the live stream I totally have like a g-string on um, with some like lace things up the side I'm like this can't be why would they be called Rangers pantlets or whatever it there it's bad but i don't know if it's a bug or if that's literally just the way they're designed because the rest of the hunter set looks really really cool um but it's been genuinely a pleasant experience obviously i prefer narrative games to action games so like baldur's gate 3 rogue trader um you know, games that focus more on a narrative experience and narrative and by narrative, I mean a story like your companions in Rogue Trader, Pillars of Eternity, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, you know, maybe not Icewind Dale so much, but Baldur's Gate 3, your companions have, you know, huge stories and you can romance your companions. And I like those games. I love narrative games. This is less narrative. Your companions definitely talk a lot, but it's a lot of bullshit that repeats over and over and over. Um, and once that charm wears off, it's kind of like, all right, pawns, like you guys have, this is like the 10th time you've told me about the, the arisen you, you and his chambers that you were in that one time and, um, some other stuff. So there's, a there's some, there's some funniness here too. Uh, Joe California just resubbed for his second month in a row. Uh, it says four total on Twitch. Thank you so much for the support, Joe. Double dipping, sir. Um, thanks so much. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'm genuinely surprised because I didn't expect to be having this much fun. I, I you know, I knew going into it that it was going to be something I was going to play and that would, I would enjoy parts of it. I haven't come across anything I don't enjoy yet. I do know myself as a gamer, and I can tell you that long term, the the constant combat is something that will get old to me. I guarantee you that's going to get old within, you know, it, it might be 50 hours into the game. It might be 100 hours into the game. But eventually that combat is going to get a little old. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate it. Thank you. What? Va a salir some beso para mí. All right. Thank you for the coffee. No, hasta bien. Her, her baby Frodo was crying, crying to come into the air conditioner earlier. Everybody else was leaving the room, and he wanted to come in, so. Um, don't let me get sidetracked. Pretty women do that to me. Um, having fun. More fun than I anticipated. Great combat. The music's been really good. Oh, I will get bored. I will get bored of the constant combat. Yeah. So when they did the interview, I said that. Oops, I accidentally shot him. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, in the interview where the director was talking about how, oh, fast travel is only in your game if the if the game is boring and our game isn't boring and 
I'll tell you this much. Constant combat gets boring to me after a certain amount of time. So uh, hopefully by that point I'll have saved up enough fairy stones to be like given the middle finger to the tedium and just uh, fast traveling more frequently on ox carts and stuff. But we'll see how it we'll see how it pans out long term. Just as some reviewers said, the main quest is 25 to 30 hours. So when you get tired of the dynamic combat, you just simply finish the game. Yeah, I've heard uh, somebody say the other day that they it was like 25 to 30 hours as well. So um, that's way less than I anticipated it being. But also for a game that's heavy on like the side quests and combat, it makes sense as you know that it's that as well. So we'll see.